All right, what's going on guys? Today is actually gonna be the very first oil change on my E92 M3. As many of you know, I feel like I've said it a million times, I bought the car, drove it 2,000 miles from Arizona to Ohio where I live. Right now, I believe it's about between seven and 8,000 miles between the last oil change that the owner did. I try to probably keep it closer to 6,000. I know BMW actually rates it for like 15, which is crazy. Every M driver that I know, or really BMW driver in general, says um, between like five and eight, most people seem to change it, assuming that they do intervals that you know aren't um, BMW specific. They do it uh, much more frequently. Just you know, the engines run hot. Um, you know, they don't overheat, but they just run at a hotter temperature than a lot. Um, this one, which I'm going to be using, the Castrol 10W60 oil, which is what BMW calls for. And uh, I, you can really pick this up anywhere. What I'm gonna do for this video is I've never actually done an oil change on this car. So I'm gonna sort of just take you through a, uh, a bunch of steps of how I did it and give you some tips. If you wanna know what you need for this, I'm just gonna put all that in the description. So if you wanna know how much oil and what kind of oil that I used and what tools I used for the different parts, um, those are gonna be in the description as well just because I have everything everywhere and it's just gonna take too much time to line it out. So I'd rather be able to show you the process and give you some color along the way. So stay tuned, I'm gonna do an oil change on this thing. It shouldn't be too bad. I will note it is better to have a um, engine that was up to operating temperature because the oil thins out as it gets hotter, which means uh, thinner oil, more of it will drain out when you do it, which is really the point, you're changing the oil. So you don't want any, any more older oil in here than really possible at all. I picked up nine liters of this. I think really I'm gonna uh, fill it up to between eight and eight and a half, and then drive it around and see what it says, and then top it off if it needs it. I definitely don't wanna overfill it. Really quick, the oil filter, it's really like a oil filter, and it has the, you know, the gaskets and washers in here. This was actually from ECS Tuning. I'm gonna be doing a rear differential flush as well. So I picked up this and a bunch of the rear differential stuff as well. It's just easier to all buy it all together. It was here in like three days actually. It was really, really quick. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it, but that is a side note. ECS is pretty ship, uh, pretty quick shipping. I'll show you guys what I'm working with here. I just got the car on uh, Rhino ramps. I actually, I didn't drive up them just because I got home and I, I just parked it, but I, I just jacked it up and then uh, lowered it on top of the Rhino ramps, which is fine. And then, just a sort of safety precaution uh, wheel chocks on each of the rear wheels just in case so I got some room to work here and uh, let's get started first step remove the oil filter this is a 36 millimeter got the oil cap and then the oil filter out just dumped it on top of there okay so this is the view looking towards the rear of the car there are two bolts one of them is here and then the other one is right there they are the six millimeter and this is what I'm working with here it's nicer to sort of have a longer um, ratchet just so your hands are further away from the hot oil but I don't have that so I'm just wearing uh, gloves that really aren't that thick, but we're gonna try to be careful here. And uh, I believe um, it might not really matter, but I'm gonna drain from the rear um, first. I guess I'll let you guys know, I'll, I'll do double checking, but um, I will unscrew both of these six millimeters. And uh, yeah, let's get going. Got it. All right, well, that first one is finishing. I'm going to start just. Hope 
Hopefully I got that. Very dark oil, that's for sure. All right guys, so while that's finishing draining, a lot of it's out, but it's good to let it sit for a little bit. Um, BMW brand oil filter from ECS Tuning. You can buy it from them or you can buy it directly from BMW, I think. Or you can, I mean, I don't really know about the pricing. I think it's all very similar. So I will put that in the description as well. And I actually have a website up here, BMW Blog. I actually just pulled it up really quick on my iPad just to check um, the specs for um, the drain plugs. And if you are wondering, um, they're each 18 foot pounds. So really not, not a lot. You probably don't really need a torque wrench. Just kind of give it a good, you know, once, you know, quarter turn that's solid in there. You definitely don't want to over tighten them. When you do an oil change, the new um, filter comes with this little gasket here. Oil filter gasket, I believe is technically the name. And uh, actually I should have left my gloves on so I can just pull it off. But this gets, uh, you know, a little worn. So the new one, right here. And you do, you should put some oil on it. Um, shoot. So I'm just gonna, this probably is the worst way to do it, to be honest with you. Um, but I just got my finger, got some oil, just get it on there. And reapply. Really simple guys, I just, and then it just goes all the way down. So let's see if I can do this with one hand, not mess anything up. Yeah. Okay, just the second to last rung there. So this is sort of the lip and it's right there. It fits in there perfectly. And there's another one on, on the top here. Hopefully it's focusing. Yeah, on the top. Come on, right here. It's focusing on the damn bottles back there, but there's a tiny one up here, I believe which is much harder to get off. Very small screwdriver. Pry it off there. There it is. Same deal. Get some oil on it. Um, I'm just gonna use the oil that was on my gloves. All right, I'm checking my website to make sure it was just those two things. Looks good so far. Here's what the drain plugs look like if you're interested. Just small, they're actually really solid pieces, which is not hard to believe. All right, next step here, new crush washer. So you replace the two gaskets um, for the oil filter and then the new crush washer, Just it's just a copper one that goes on top of each. Man, this damn camera is not focusing. You get the picture. So each one of these has a new crush washer. All right, so let's take a peek underneath. Doesn't look like there's much going on. There's there's one, uh, the rear looks like it's just barely dripping. Um, so it's pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and install the front one and then uh, go from there. I'm gonna actually install both of them. That'll pretty much be done dripping. cast roll as I mentioned what I'm gonna do is this um, I think takes slightly over eight and a half so what I'm gonna do is put eight and a half in it and then drive it to normal operating temperature and then add a little bit if it needs it so let's start this here <laughs> Okay. 
okay guys. I didn't end up doing eight and a half uh, liters. I did about eight and like a quarter just because I was kind of reading online and it seemed like, uh, you know, like the capacity of the oil pan and everything like that. So I just figured um, I'd rather just slightly underfill it. I mean, there's over eight liters in here that I actually added. Um, and even if you're supposed to add eight and a half, being down just a half isn't a big deal. And I'm just gonna drive around a little bit, get it warmed up, and um, I tighten the filter down, and I'm just gonna see what happens. That will actually be a good opportunity. I'm just gonna hit on the road, get this thing warmed up to operating temperature for a little bit, kind of whatever it takes, and uh, I'll have to report back to you guys. Make sure you add this facing the right way. So it looks like I got the car warmed up enough and the oil level is reading perfectly in the middle. Um, I might add like a just a little bit of oil in the future um, in the next couple of weeks or so, maybe after that. But looks like I added just enough. It looks like eight and just, just a little over eight liters is perfect. Um, so just if you were wondering, that's got the car warmed up and it's reading pretty good. <laughs> 